Hello YouTube, watch this overlay tutorial. Bye. Hello my beautiful people, I have arrived once again and today I will teach you how to code your own overlay that will allow you to draw your wall hack or ESP directly onto the screen. This video is absolutely essential if you want to make something greater in the future and I have made it incredibly easy for you. You just have to follow each step that I take. It's that simple. All that I ask in return of you is to join the family by subscribing, liking, writing a comment. You might think that it's something small, but it really means a lot for me and my self-worth. But for everyone else, enjoy this tutorial. Alright guys, so let's take a peek at what you will have at the end of this tutorial. So I have an example application here, Call of Duty, and I have our program that we will create in this tutorial. If we run our program, you can see that we're drawing a shape directly on top of the screen. So this is exactly how I make my ESPs and so on. I have this overlay. I have a point that I'm drawing and a size of the rectangle. So we can enable or disable it by our main menu and we can draw whatever we want directly on top of the screen. So a very essential video for ESPs and wall hacks. Enjoy this tutorial now. So we're going to create a new program. It will be a console app. The project name doesn't really matter. In GUI something. And we will use the .NET 6 framework. Let's remove this template text. We're going to install some packages, some NuGet packages, for the ImGUI overlay to work. The first NuGet package that we will install is ImGUI.net. Make sure to pick the 1.89.71 version, otherwise it will crash, actually. The next package will be 6 sharp. After that, we have the veldrid.imgui. And the last dependency before our main overlay NuGet package will be Vortis Mathematics. We will use the 1.6.2 version because we're using .NET 6. The last NuGet package we will install is the clickable overlay. It uses all of the dependencies that we installed before. And we're going to install the 6.2.1 version to fit the .NET 6. We will add all of the packages in our usings. Then, because I don't have it, a namespace, a class to the program, and a static void main. We will now inherit from the overlay, which means we will have to implement its abstract method render. We will write the rendering stuff inside of that method. Now that we have the render function, we will create a new method that will draw the main menu window. So we will have a label for that window and then a checkbox to enable or disable the overlay. The checkbox will refer to a class boolean that we call enable overlay. I set it to false here to make it disabled at start. You can set it to true if you want it to run at start. And finally, to end this main menu, we will use imgui.end. Our code will not run the render method yet, so we will create a new instance of the program in our main and then call the program.start.wait. This will run the render method. Let's take a look at our main menu. When we run this now, we should get a console window and our imgui main menu. 
we can check this checkbox, but now we want to add our overlay. Our overlay logic will be inside of a new method called draw overlay. Inside of this method, we will check if the overlay should be enabled. If the overlay is enabled, we will create a new ImGUI window with some features. But for the sizes, we will use vectors, so we will need to use system.numerics. The window size will be our screen size, so minus 19020 by 1080. Next, we will create a variable to hold the position of an example shape that we want to draw. This can be a circle or a rectangle, but we will set the position to somewhere close to the top left corner, like 150. Back to our new overlay window. It will be the size of our screen size variable. Then we will set the position to 00, zero to have it display at uh, the top left corner and render throughout our screen. Now that we have set some attributes for the window, we will create the window by using imgui.begin, set the label as overlay, then add some startup commands. All of these commands will set the window to be transparent, to not interact with the user and allow us to draw freely without any disturbances, uh, draw shapes and so on, draw whatever we want. Now that we are done with the overlay for now, we can add the method or call it from the render method to not forget it. Now to draw things onto this in Google window, we will need the draw list. So, or the draw list pointer, we will get it from imgui.getWindowDrawList. We can now draw things onto this overlay. So let's add a circle as a start. The circle that we will draw will be at the position of our draw position variable. The radius will be free, and then we will need to have a color for our circle. So we will use imgui.convert float 4 to u32. This will convert a vector 4 to a color. So the vector 4 will display 4 floats, RGBA, and so on. So let's create a red color by using 1001. When we enable this overlay from our main menu, we can see a small circle drawn. And that means we have successfully drawn our shape. Let's widen the circle by setting the radius to 50 so we can actually see it properly. Would you look at that? A circle and it's on top of our screen. We can adjust the color by changing our vector 4 and adjust the position by changing our draw position vector. Would you look at that? A green circle. But let's create a box like you see on those wall hacks and ESPs. To draw the rectangle, we will use drawList.addRect, use our draw position. Then, for the second argument, we will use a vector2.add. So, we will add our draw position and a new vector, which will be the size of the rectangle, that will represent point B. The last argument will be the color, which we had from before. There you go, draw any shape onto your screen. This will also work for other games, 
you just have to pick whatever you want. Now to create your ESP, you will only need the 2D coordinates of the entities. But that will come in another video, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Alright, bye guys.